Unit Seven, Recording Three, One. Can you believe those people who won the lottery? Sorry. Those people who won forty-three million euros each.、Oh, lucky them. That must be one of the biggest prizes ever. Yeah, but the amazing thing is, the two winners are from the same town. So. And they've won separately. What you mean? They didn't do it together? No, they don't know each other. You're kidding. That's absolutely incredible. I mean, yeah, it's such an amazing coincidence. They're saying that they're going to put two. Hi, hi. Have you seen this picture? Look. No. What do you think it is? It's difficult to say, but I gather it's some sort of painting. It's quite pretty. It looks like one of those done by a child, or I guess it could be a computer image. Wrong. It's actually a photo of some bacteria they found on the moon. Really? There's no way I would have guessed that. <laughs> Let me see again. I suppose it does look like bacteria. Now I come to think about it. Mind you, I don't believe it. I think it's a tabloid hoax. Three. Did you see that story about the kid in Ethiopia? No. It was on the breakfast news this morning. It was about this girl who was being chased by some men, and three lions came out and chased away the men, and then stayed and protected her. <laughs> that is incredible. Why on earth would they do that? What the lions? Yeah. Whew, maybe they heard her crying, you know, and thought she was a cub. Hmm. Perhaps. But it sounds a bit weird. Why didn't they just eat her? <laughs> Good question.、Uh, maybe. It, that reminds me of a story that I heard a little while ago. Four. He looks in a bad mood. Well, let's look. What happened? He's got to pay a fine. Apparently, he left his car in the wrong place. He's got to pay a fine. Yeah. <laughs> and he's the one who's always talking about reducing car use and taking public transport. Yeah. That's so hypocritical. I thought you liked him. Yeah. Well, sometimes he can be such an idiot, but he's actually all right, you know.